Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using these two 5x5 frames and little 3D craft set from Dollar Tree. I started by removing the glass from all of the frames and traced out one of the pieces onto the scrapbook paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. And each frame has two pieces of glass. And I put the scrapbook paper between two of the pieces and then put it back in the frame. And then for the next frame, I only used one of the pieces of glass. And I added a layer of Mod Podge to it to give it a foggy look. Dried that completely and then applied a layer of holographic glitter and dried that completely as well. I then place that back into the other frame and set that aside for now. And then this little Christmas set was from Dollar Tree. I removed just the set of trees and then used a razor blade to score the ends of the trunks and then just pop off that piece on the bottom and then give those a quick sanding. And then took white acrylic paint and a sponge and just applied one coat of that paint, dried it, and then took this Snowtex, which I got from Amazon, but you can get it at Joann's or Michael's as well. Used a paintbrush and then my finger to spread that out throughout the front of those trees, and then added the holographic glitter to the Snowtex as well. I then removed the glass that had the scrapbook paper in between it just for now, then I'm taking these lights from Amazon and where I put the glass, I just pushed the light through there and pulled it all the way down, except for maybe just an inch or so with the light in the battery pack. And then I just made sure to hold the light and the wire in the front so I can push the glass and scrapbook paper back in. And then I just wound up the lights and set that in there for now. Then I had to trim up the tree on one side with some Fisker shears just so it fit. Added hot glue to the back of that and then glued it to the glass that has the holographic glitter and Mod Podge. And then put hot glue around the front of the frame with the lights and scrapbook paper and placed it. And then I just glued the battery pack to the back frame, making sure the screws were facing outward. And that's it for this project. Thank you guys so much for watching.